Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Former crime reporter Maureen Boyle spoke about her new book, Shallow Graves, The Hunt for the New Bedford Highway Serial Killer, at the Richards Memorial Library. The book covers the investigation into the deaths of 11 women who went missing in 1988. We spoke with her about her presentation. Um, I'm here at the uh, Richards Memorial Library in North Attleboro to discuss my uh, book, Shallow Graves, A Hunt for the New Bedford Highway Serial Killer. The book traces the investigation into the case as well as the lives of the 11 victims in the case. I, I was a reporter for the Standard Times in, in 1988 uh, when, this, when the bodies of the women first uh, were discovered. I was a police reporter uh, and crime reporter at the time and I followed the case from 1988 over the years uh, and as the 30th anniversary uh, neared, I realized that it was time to write a book. I, I had always planned to write a book on the case, but I kept on waiting until uh, the killer was found. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, however, I really felt that the stories of the investigators and the women, the victims, and their families really needed to be told because people had misconceptions of what actually happened who the victims were and what the investigators did. So I really wanted to have this out there for uh, people to read. Back in 1988 and 89, uh, when the bodies were, were uh, discovered, uh, people were very, very concerned uh, in that area. It's a very close-knit community. Uh, people, a number of people knew the victims or knew their families. Uh, they had some ties to them and um, then what's interesting is no one ever forgot what happened uh, to these women. Uh, even you know, 31 years later, people in the greater New Bedford area still talk about the case and are still intrigued by, um, by what happened and are a little bit unnerved that, uh, that there hasn't been justice yet. Uh, police investigators at the time uh, worked very, very hard on this case. They were working essentially 24-7 uh, for months in the case, uh, trying to identify the killer. Unfortunately, by the time the investigation started, by the time they knew that there was a possibility that there was a serial killer in the community, uh, the killer had already stopped. And that was one of the challenges that they had, that by the time the investigation heated up, the case was already cold. I, I really, I, I really hope that someone in the commu in the community, someone out there, knows who the killer is, and I really hope that the that they'll come forward, uh, contact the, the Bristol County District Attorney's Office or the uh, DA's off, um, sorry, the New Bedford Police Department, or any police department to say this is who I believe, or this is who I know the killer is, or even I'm the killer. Um, and they'll, they'll come forward and finally give fa the families and the community some answers. Yeah. Shallow Graves, A Hunt for the New Bedford Highway Serial Killer is available at Barnes & Noble, uh, local bookstores. Uh, local bookstores can also order them if they don't have them in stock. It's available online and from Amazon, Target, um, Walmart online, and a number of other places. Oh, yeah. Uh, the audiobook is... Uh, not narrated by me, thank goodness. I do not have a radio or TV voice, so listeners uh, can be very grateful for that. Uh, the, the book is also available on Kindle. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website at doubleacs.com, by downloading the AACS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the AACS Roku channel. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.